Hello, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC, and today we're going to install the bracketing system onto the uh, Carbide 3D's Z+. Uh, let's get started. So what you'll have in your package are two support arms, two track brackets, um, four uh, M5 by 20 millimeter screws, four M5 by 14 millimeter screws, You'll need two of the M5 10 millimeter screws, although you'll probably have some extras in your bag. You should see a couple of ears, one that if you look up real close, it should have an R and the other one should have an L on it. You'll have a brace. You have a couple of thumb screws, a couple of plastic T-nuts, a um, couple of pin locks, as well as the pin nuts. And the only thing you'll need, which is not included, is a three millimeter hex socket. Um, so let's get a close up of the Z Plus. And All right, so to get started, what we're gonna need to do is look on the back of your Z Plus. You don't have to take it apart. This is a borrowed carriage, and thank you, Jose, for letting me borrow that. Um, we don't have the Z stepper motor on the back. No need to remove any of that. What we will remove are the two pins that hold the limit switch on. And this should be the X limit switch. There it goes. We're gonna be using both of those holes to hold our brace. So we're gonna take our brace and from the right side, this is the right, this is the left. From the right side, we're gonna have the little lip piece on the right side. So we're gonna slide it right in here along the back side it should slide right between your stepper motor's uh, pulley and the uh, ropes and, of course, the Z-plate or the X-plate. Just snap it right in there. Once it's snapped in, it should be slightly loose, but there's a couple of um, indentation, four indentations on the top, two on the top, two on the bottom, which kind of hold the plate. We're going to take those two M5 by 10 millimeter screws we're going to use those to screw into the holes where the limit switch was. Now, this will hold the brace on one side, but we don't have another uh, similar screws on the other on the left side, so we'll have to uh, use our ears for that, and I'll show you that in just a second. So there's no need to tighten this down too tightly. Just kind of tighten it down until it hits the surface and then maybe a quarter turn or a half a turn and that should hold it. So the brace, of course, a little loose over here, nice and secure over here. And now we're going to switch to a front view so you can see um, the installation of the ears. Oh, uh, before I get, before I switch there, since I've got you close, grab any of the M5 screws. Uh, we're going to prep these two limit holes. So. The brace uses two, the, the existing limit switches to hold the brace to the Z plate, but we're going to uh, offset these limit switch um, screws over a little bit since we are widening the carriage just a fraction of an inch. So we're gonna widen that up. And what we need to do is take any of the M5 screws and screw it into the next holes over. So essentially what we're going to do is take the screws here. It, I offset it just by about eight millimeters and we're going to thread that screw so it's a lot easier to install these limit switches. So you just need to go in about, um, about five millimeters is enough. And we're going to do that to both holes. And they're the holes immediately to the left of, uh, from the back view of the holes the original limit switch holes. So that will prep our holes and now our limit switch should easily thread into place. You can go ahead and do that now. There we go. You can put your limit switch back on there and that should uh, continue to function just like normal. So let's switch over to a, a little more angled view and we'll install the, uh, the right and the left ear next. 
All right, the next thing we need is our right ear. That's the one with the R on it. And of course, two of the M5 by 14 millimeter screws. We're gonna take those screws in from the back side. So here's the right ear. Here's our little lip here. The lip is gonna wrap around the Z plus. And we're gonna take one of these screws in that top hole. We're gonna get screw that into place. Now hold your ear, uh, hold this ear piece tight because it will provide a clamping force. Clamp the Z plus between the ear and the brace. So we're going to take our second screw here, go in just above. We're going to ins install that the exact same way. Just make sure everything is nice and tight and in line. You are installing into plastic, so be sure that you are hand screwing these in and hand tightening. You don't want to strip the plastic. Now, since I have a close-up uh, on you on this side, um, we're going to go ahead and install the track bracket on this left, on this right side. So we're going to take the track and two of the M5 by 20 millimeter screws. The holes are going to be here on the outside of the carriage. And it, many of these holes, basically all six of these holes line up. It doesn't matter which one you stick it into, uh, which one you stick these screw, two screws into. Two is sufficient to hold the track uh, nice and secure. The others are simply there for accessories. If you want to uh, add like a mister or some other piece of equipment that will help you with your cuts, maybe a light or a camera mount or something. Those are simply there for accessories. Same thing goes for these side holes. It's just, I love options. Um, there we go. So we've got both tracks, uh, one track on. Let me tighten that up a little tighter. Goes. There. One tight, uh, one bracket on. Let's switch over to the other ear, our other side, and we will uh, install that one. All right. Now we're going to take our L. Oh, there it is. Our L ear. We're going to sit this just like this up against the Z plate or the X plate. That's the X plate. Here's the Z plate. The Z goes up and down. The X plate goes left and right. We're going to take two of those M5 by 14 screws. Gonna turn them in or set them in the holes, then hold it nice and tight with my right hand and screw in these screws with my left. Now remember the, the brace and the ear will provide a clamping pressure on the X plate and should hold the left side of these brackets nice and steady. Now, so we've got that in there, we've got our ears in there. Since I have a really nice close up, we're gonna go ahead and take our Trek bracket, screws or holes on the outside, and our two M5 by 20 millimeter screws. Put them, I'm going to go ahead and throw them in just in case. Or just get them started. There go. So there's approximately one millimeter between the track bracket and the Z plate. So there isn't a whole lot of room there. So you do want to, you don't want the Z track to be rubbing up against the like I haven't used this particular hole so I'm having to thread it at the same time but so you'll probably hear that but it's not too difficult 
just gonna screw it in there. Once you got both of those in there, you can also look, there may be a slight twisting since this is plastic and acrylic, um, just to make sure you've got a nice tiny little gap, about a one millimeter gap between the track bracket and the Z plate here. But all along there, because this Z plate will go up and down, we don't want it rubbing up against the track. So the uh, tracks, believe it or not, are already installed. I'm going to jump over, since we got a really nice close-up here, I'm going to take the left arm, a T-nut, uh, one of the plastic T-nuts, and the thumb screw. Take the thumb screw, pop that through there. Now here's a little bit of a trick. So the eccentric nut down here at the bottom is just enough room for the uh, T-nut to sit there. So we're going to come in from the bottom, bend that bracket up just a little bit, and pop that T-nut into place. So it, oh. <laughs> obviously the T-nut or the eccentric nut doesn't go all the way up, so don't pop it like I did. But there, so the the eccentric nut will hold the T-nut in place. Then we can take our bracket here, line it right into the hole and tighten that down. There. Our bracket is now installed, ready to go. So let's get a really nice close-up of the other side and install the other, or, or the right side arm. Okay, I have you at another angle. Here's the right side support arm. Here is the plastic T-nut and the thumb screw. Thumb screw through the support arm plastic T-nut, pop that right into place in front of, or in between the eccentric nut and the track. Take your thumb screw, just kind of line it up and start threading it in. It should easily uh, screw right into place. And you're all done. Then we can take our, or here dust boot, <laughs> you won't get one out of my collection here. Pop the face piece off, take it from the back, slide it right into position. Then you can use this fancy little upgrade. Um, in fact, I just did a production run where I didn't actually use the nuts. I just popped the locking pins into place and they pop right in here in the side, right through the support arm, through the ears of the boot and down um, to expose the screw on the bottom. So do the same thing on the, on the other side. Just pop that into place. And that boot is not going anywhere. For if you really want that extra bit of security, you could take these locking pins, come in from the bottom, and screw them into place. <laughs> but again, I just went through about 12 hours of cutting acrylic and these locking pins did not come out of place. They're just so long. Well, um, they're so long that there is absolutely no need to have them uh, have the have the nuts in place. But if you want that extra security, it's there. There, the bracketing system for the Z Plus is ready. So I'm really glad you guys were able to join me. Um, Hope you were able to install your, bra your Z Plus brackets uh, just fine. If you don't have, or if you have any trouble, just give me a holler. Um, my contact information is on the website that you're probably viewing this from, or just reach out on the Pwn CNC users group. Um, lots of people willing to help, including me. Um, I'm on there all the time, almost every day. <laughs> but um, yeah, happy, uh, happy making. <laughs>